Okay, so here's my first try of showing you the characteristics of the platform as I des um, intend to design it. Um, a couple of views that I have here. This is the platform as seen from the side. This is the front. This is the back. And this is pretty much your center of gravity of your body. Um, this is the platform seen from the back. There's a right, there's a left and um, center of gravity. And as you can see, it has a slight upward tilt. That's because the aircraft has an uh, angle of attack and it's flying nose up all the time a little bit. Uh, something else that I have in here, and it's this one. You can see the control inputs. This is the thrust lever. These are the stick and yoke uh, inputs. And down here is the rudder. And uh, you can see how it, um, how it shows you the control deflection. So let's take a look at what it does. Probably a roll is the easiest to show you. And if I very gently pull up the nose, you see the platform does not, almost not react at all. And if I go into a very slow coordinated turn, then you will see that the platform shows barely any reaction at all. It's very gentle and very slow. If you think that is unrealistic, then go to YouTube and Google Bob Hoover Ice Tea. You're going to find a funny video how he is pouring ice tea during a barrel roll. Um, and that's the behavior that I um, intended. And it's the way I always had it in, in professional simulators. Um, this um, is because it's low pass filtered and it goes to the roll axis only after it's been low pass filtered. So the different story is if you do any abrupt um, motion, like if I start the roll and end the roll in a very abrupt manner, then it will give you um, a roll input in the low, sorry, in the high frequency content axis. And take a look at this abrupt roll to the left. As you see in the platform from behind, it, it gave, gave me a little input, and when I stop the roll, it'll do this thing in the, in the other direction. Because the moment you enter and you exit the roll, that is when you actually feel something. While you are being in a roll, is um, uh, those are moments when you barely feel anything, at least no lateral forces on the aircraft. So the next thing I would like to show you is uh, acceleration deceleration. So right now I'm pretty much at full throttle, and if I pull away the power to idle, you can see there's a jolt backwards because the afterburners um, extinguish and now the aircraft is decelerating. You can see here it's tilted down and there were two things happening. What you see right now is the low frequency content, so the steady tilt forward when you decelerate. The initial jolt backwards that you saw, that is the high frequency content that took place in the high frequency platform. And again, if I push the throttles forward, you can see initially a little jolt forward and then the tilt um, comes fading in. And you need to coordinate these two to have a good illusion. So uh, throttle, um, full throttle forward. This is the engine spooling up. And this is the afterburner kicking in. And then you have uh, this little, well, basically this jolt that you just saw. Maybe that was the afterburners. So it's tilted up. And the important thing here I'd like to show you too is that the tilt of the platform has nothing to do with the pitch of the aircraft. It only has to do with the acceleration in the aircraft's longitudinal axis. Um, I'm still having uh, afterburners on, pitching up, and you can see that the platform pitch does barely change at all. I have a significant pitch up, but the platform doesn't. Now if I pull the power back to idle and extend the speed brakes, then the aircraft is still pitched up, but the platform is tilted down because you are decelerating. You have the uh, speed brakes out and the aircraft is accelerating. And that is also the behavior that I uh, intended to design. So that was it about uh, for flying characteristics. I have a couple of more things. I have to script the videos first. So um, if you have any complaints, if you have different opinions, let me know. I'd be totally happy to, well, either learn something or debunk a myth, um, whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And um, I will make a couple of more videos to show a couple of more points on the motion queuing algorithm. Goodbye.